My face is red, why is my face so red? Yeah, red face or not, um, I want to speak about atonement today. And I don't mean like a literal atonement, but the book. Uh, by McEvan, I think it's Ian McEvan. I got it for my Christmas. It's not my Christmas. I got it as a Christmas present. I finished it now and I'm confused. I think I'm just going to say my opinions because I feel entitled if I am or not. The book's basically about, well, what is it about? There's this family and then there's, so these two sisters and mm, I don't want to spoil anything though. Maybe I should because I'm discussing the book. Well, there are basically three main figures, I guess. Uh, two sisters and this guy. Well, there are other people involved, but it's basically about them where the book is parted into three parts where the first is about um, kind of the expose where those three characters like they get they get presented and you kind of get to know like their situation their relation to each other and then um, a crime happens and then one of them goes to prison and then in the second part it's about how that guy, after he came out of prison, he fought in Second World War and that's majorly about his life then in the war and then he sometimes like still writes letters to one of the sisters but it's really more about his situation there and the third part is then after the war when he comes back and the three kind of reunite and it's kind of awkward but it's like I'm not really doing a good job at this but uh, if you read it, I think you kind of know what I mean. I have to say, I'm not a very patient reader, if that makes sense. Like, this guy, he writes extremely well with extremely fancy words that I had to highlight and look up because I don't understand them. And he speaks in also like nice metaphors and just in... He's, he writes in a very nice way, but he also writes in a very, 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 very descriptive way where um something's happening and then he describes like a piece of furniture and has nothing to do with the story but he describes it for two pages and then it goes back to kind of what's happening and while the descriptions are very nice i just kind of skim over them because i like to know what's happening and for the story to move forward i guess what i'm saying is at some places it was a bit slow Especially the bit where in the middle where the guy was in war He did a lot of like reflecting but also like some things happened that like that didn't seem relevant to the story To me, maybe they were and I just didn't quite get it There are some very interesting thoughts, but some of them I just didn't get Maybe I'm also just not smart enough for this book But I really liked the end and I really liked um, how it all came together in the end like in the first part, I was I was interested, but I was also skimming a bit through because I like didn't really get what was happening, and it took quite a while until all of the characters were settled in and the whole thing could start. And some bits I didn't think were relevant anymore than afterwards, like they were just mentioned. And I guess it kind of helps building the environment, but for me, I just don't have that attention span. I blame TikTok, even though I'm not even on TikTok, but I blame like. Our society and then the second part there I skimmed quite a bit uh, because I also just wanted to get to the conversations and to the letters and kind of like get like what does this have to do with anything and then the last bit for me was the most interesting just because everything got resolved and everything came together it's not like the first two parts were not as good they just could have been written in way less space and I think it conveyed the same message but I guess it's also just it depends on the writing style you like apparently a lot of people like it because he's quite famous he's also written quite a few other books to summarize this is a book for people who don't like books but literature if that makes sense like they they want the stuff like all the letters all the words everything and I just don't I don't know if it's just because it's kind of books I read are different but I like I didn't want to quit while reading but at the same time I just couldn't be bothered to get invested in the whole story 
So yeah, I guess as a summary, if I would have to recommend it to somebody, I'd say yes, if you like literature, if you like descriptive things, if you like a very detailed, in-depth, embedded story. I would say I wouldn't necessarily recommend it to people who are very action-oriented, like not necessarily like an action kind of like but like in action where is things happen, the story goes forward and they don't just reflect or think or it's not a very fast-paced book so if you like fast-paced things you might not enjoy this as much. I don't know if this was helpful for anybody, um, a big part why I'm doing this is also just I want to document it for me like in 10 years if somebody asks me oh did you read Atonement? And I'm like, um, yeah, but I have no idea anymore what I liked about it or if I didn't. And then I can like refer back to this and then I'll be really annoyed at myself because I didn't really say a lot of intelligent stuff right now. Maybe I'll read it in 10 years again and my opinions will have changed. I just quickly wanted to share my opinion on this book and um, if I would recommend it to somebody or not. My face is still a bit red. <laughs> And I'll just let the book drop. Um, yeah, I think that's that for today. If anybody happens to watch this who also read Atonement, feel free to let me know about like your opinion and, you know, talk about books. I think I need to get into a book club. I was just ranting in videos to myself and I, that's a very one-sided conversation. Okay, anyways, bye, see you next time.